We begin with the Trump presidency at noon. A mega crowd is already lined up outside of a South Florida church. Supporters are anticipating President Trump's arrival in just a few hours from now. The president is expected to speak at King Jesus International Ministry. This visit comes just hours after the president ordered a drone strike in Iraq. CBS 4's Real Crane is live outside the church in southwest Miami-Dade with a preview of the president's visit. Real. Well, Carly, it is hard to see it from here, but this is the church back that way, and there are already people lined up outside the doors. This parking lot where they park is already full. The president expected to speed as part of Evangelicals for Trump campaign event to ramp up his support, already strong among evangelicals ahead of this year's election. But as you mentioned, the killing of a top Iranian military leader is expected to cast a huge shadow over today's event and could very likely change the tone. President Trump will make his case at King Jesus International Ministry, a mega church with a congregation of about 20,000. His appearance hasn't been without pushback. The church's pastor, Guillermo Maldonado, seen on video praising the president and urging congregants to support him. A nonprofit group, Freedom from Religion Foundation, wrote a letter to the IRS asking for an investigation, saying the church has violated IRS regulation by engaging in activities that advocate for a candidate, which could put them at risk of losing their tax exempt status. Meantime, the killing of a top Iranian leader, General Qasim Soleimani, by a U.S. drone strike in Baghdad today is also expected to have a major impact as the world watches the president closely to see if he will speak about what has had a ripple effect worldwide and could have consequences for Americans at home and abroad. Trump supporters outside of this event, many members of this congregation, unwavering in their support of the president. I heard the Lord tell me a week before we came here in Bible study, before we even knew that he was coming, that our president is anointed and um, we need to support him and uh, respect our president. Well, the event isn't actually scheduled to kick off until 5 o'clock tonight. Uh, for those who are undocumented who attend the event, the church's pastor promised them that they should not fear deportation. Live in Southwest Miami-Dade, Riel Creighton, CBS 4 News.